Anthony, I was just saying, looking at you sitting there with your knees exposed, now that you're working steadily, we've got to get you some better clothes. <laughs> I think we have to talk to the producer about <laughs> getting me a bonus on the next job. Right. Look at these pants. How can I possibly survive? <laughs> anyway, it's Anthony LaPaglia. Yes. LaPaglia from Italia. Well, not quite. But not quite? No, but uh, it is an Italian, I have Italian origin. Were you born in Australia? I know you lived there. Is yes, I was born there. And, uh, and stayed there for how many years? <coughs> 24. Really? Mm. How did you get rid of your Australian accent? Practice, lots of practice. No, I just, uh, it just went away naturally. Um, over the course of living in New York, it's like, it's out of necessity more than anything else. You get into a cab and you say, uh, take me up to 78th and Broadway, they don't have a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so they take you on a guided tour of the city instead. Something like 30 bucks later, it's like a $5 cab ride. Uh, I actually just decided very early that this is where I was going to stay and I was going to live here. I love it here. I had like an instant love affair with New York and um, figured that if you're going to live in a country, then you should integrate. Were you an actor before you came here? No. But you came to be an actor or? Half and half. I mean, I came to check it out. Um, I came to look at the possibility and I came to study it. I didn't know if I was actually going to do it for a living. Excuse me. Uh, I didn't know if I was actually going to do it for a living. Um, the thought crossed my mind that it might be a really stupid thing to do. Uh, but just after a period of time, it started to look like it could be a, a, a viable occupation. So you broke in through the stage, right? Yeah, I basically started on stage. Um, I just did everything, really. I mean, you just, as, when it's a starting actor, you kind of have to you don't get presented with many opportunities and you kind of have to go with what you can get. So I did, you know, some good theaters, some bad theaters, some good TV, some bad TV, do good movies, bad movies. Um, it's just a process of, you know, over, over a period of time, you, um, you try to elevate it every time you work. You try to do something a little better every time you work, try to improve it. I must tell you, Anthony, that police detective Morgenstern is my favorite character oh, thank you. in Whispers in the Dark. Really? Thank you. thank you. Oh, I think he is great. He is a fun character. I mean, he was just, it was the, so much fun to play that guy. So much fun to, 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 to uh, do all that, do all that stuff. He's an interesting psychological character. You know what I like about him, and I have to tell you parenthetically, that I have a double major in broadcasting and psychology. Oh, really? Yeah, so that you'll get the impact of what I'm saying here. Right. But uh, I, I love the fact that, that your character, Morgan Stern, just thinks psychotherapy is a bunch of baloney. Right. Right. Oh, he thinks everything is a bunch of baloney. You know, he, he, uh, uh, he's from the street. He's from the, the school of Art Knox. He sees what goes down every day. So he, you know, to him, you know, psychotherapy is... is pandering to the rich, you know, pandering to, to, to the overindulged, and that people should just work out their own stuff. And, uh, How do you personally feel about psychotherapy? Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually, I, I think that therapy is a very valid form of, 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 of helping people that feel they need it. I think it's a, commu a great communicative tool and that there are a lot of people that feel that they don't have people that they can really speak to in an honest way. And I think if it allows them to do that, then I think it's a great thing. Um, but at the same token, I can understand why people think that it's a lot of, a lot of horse duty. You know, it's uh, because it's like everything. There's some of it is horse duty and some of it is legitimate. It's, you know, it's, but everything in life is like that. You can look at every single occupation in the world. There's good, there's bad. Have you ever been to a therapist? No, never. I probably need to go to one, <laughs> but I've so far have uh, managed to avoid it. And, uh, and I say avoid it, but I've never really felt the need. You know, I, I, I just kind of know I'm nuts and that's okay. <laughs> so. You seem pretty rational to me. Yeah, right here, right now, because I'm on like public television, you know. So of course I could be normal, but you should see me in my own home. <laughs> what, do, what do you do that's kind of nuts? What do I do that's nuts? Mm. I'm just, it's nuts in a different way. I'm just kind of like a very not there person. I disappear. I go away. I just like vanish. And 
And Physically or just uh, emotionally? Everything. I mean, I'll, I, I, it's, it's very bad for relationships because you're in the middle of a relationship and you're like disappear for like a week and don't call and don't, I mean, I'm just, I'm like that. I'm kind of like, I'm a very impulsive person and, I, and if I get something in my head about something I want to do, I'll just go and do it. It doesn't really matter what the consequences are or what the, I don't really care. But don't they put out a missing persons on you or something? Uh, no, not really. I mean, people that know me now just kind of go, hey, he's gone. He'll come back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, he, he'll disappear, but he'll be back soon. And uh, I usually do end up coming back. You kind of get it together and come back. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not considered the most reliable person that ever lived. So, uh, and that's, I've been called nuts because of that. And because of just stuff, you know. Just stuff I like to do. I'll pick anything. I'll go like to the middle of the desert or something just because I want to see it. You know, whatever. Just put, you know, just well, I feel very honored that you stayed d through this interview, mm -hmm. Anthony. <laughs> it just disappears. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get up and disappear in the middle of it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've enjoyed talking with you a lot. Well, thank You're you. You're really fun. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on your performance in Whispers in the Dark. Thank I you very much. I hope the picture does well for you. And thanks for talking with us on Cinema Showcase. My pleasure. <laughs> You're great. Thank you. <laughs>
So he, you know, to him, you know, psychotherapy is, is pandering to the rich, you know, pandering to, to, to the overindulged, and that people should just work out their own stuff. And uh, How do you personally feel about psychotherapy? Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually, I, I think that therapy is a very valid form of, 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 of helping people that feel they need it. I think it's a, commu a great communicative tool and that there are a lot of people that feel that they don't have people that they can really speak to in an honest way. And I think if it allows them to do that, then I think it's a great thing. Um, but at the same token, I can understand why people think that it's a lot of, a lot of horse duty. You know, it's, uh, because it's like everything. There's, some of it is horse duty and some of it is legitimate. You know, but everything in life is like that. You can look at every single occupation in the world. There's good, there's bad. Have you ever been to a therapist? No, never. I probably need to go to one. <laughs> but I've so far have managed to avoid it. And, uh, and I say avoid it, but I've never really felt the need. You know, I, I, I just kind of know I'm nuts, and that's okay. <laughs> so... You seem pretty rational to me. Yeah, right here, right now, because I'm on like public television, you know. So of course I could be normal. But you should see me in my own home. <laughs> what do, what do you do that's kind of nuts? What do I do that's nuts? Yeah. I'm just it's nuts in a different way. I'm just kind of like a very not there person. I disappear. I go away. I just like vanish and, and physically or just uh, emotionally. Everything. I mean, I'll, I I. It's, it's very bad for relationships because you're in the middle of a relationship and you're like disappear for like a week and don't call and don't I mean I'm just I'm like that I'm kind of like I'm a very impulsive person and I, and if I get something in my head about something I want to do I'll just go and do it it doesn't really matter what the consequences are or what the I don't really care but don't they put out a missing persons on you or something uh, no not really I mean people that know me now just kind of go hey he's gone he'll come back don't worry about it <laughs> You know, he'll disappear, but he'll be back soon. And uh, I usually do end up coming back. You kind of get it together and come back. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not considered the most reliable person that ever lived. So, uh, and that's considered, I've been called nuts because of that. And because just stuff, you know, just stuff I like to do. I'll pick anything. I'll go like to the middle of the desert or something just because I want to see it. You know, whatever. Just put, you know, just. Well, I feel very honored that you stayed through this interview, mm. Anthony. <laughs> just disappears. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get up and disappear in the middle of it. Anyway, <laughs> I've enjoyed talking with you a lot. Well, thank You're you. You're really fun. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on your performance in Whispers in the Dark. Thank I you very much. I hope the picture does well for you. And thanks for talking with us on Cinema Showcase. My pleasure.